Okay, as a special, we are allowed into the kitchen. That's usually a no-go, but we are allowed to show you guys. So let's have a look. Is it real shark skin? Yes. What? I know, I've eaten after, I feel satisfied. Of course, I feel satisfied. If it's clean, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's Out of the hot bath and right into the first floor because here is the restaurant. And if you follow me, what sets a restaurant in a ryokan apart from a restaurant, for example, if you go to a hotel, is the Japanese cuisine. So they use, for example, an environmentally free way of fishing here. It's like the kada method. You can see it's really fished right in front of us. And there's lots of English here, which I'm really happy about. It explains like red sea bream rice ball from kada high quality fresh list and so they kind of they're really proud of the way they fish and prepare it and huh international chef i found this is that real oh that's real that's not a picture that's actually the uniform it says japan hina no you and it says international chef hiroto akama and it has you even got like a medal or something for that that's not a picture it's actually a real uniform in here there's another one here let's find out hiroto akama Okay, he is the master chef of Hina no Yu, where we are right now. It's a hot spring hotel located in Kara, Wakayama Prefecture. And appeared in many TV programs as an expert of washok with Japanese traditional dishes, so he knows what he's talking. Serving as an acting master of JACA, Japan Authorized Cooks Authorization. I didn't even know something like this existed. Too, too many are so... I think we're, we're in for a treat today, we're in for a treat. Ooh, I'm super ready for this now. <laughs> Okay, as a special, we are allowed into the kitchen. That's usually a no-go, but we are allowed to show you guys. So let's have a look. Wow, I have never, ever, ever seen a traditional ryokan kitchen. Wow, oh, it's huge. There's so many people working at the same time. And you can see some of the foods are already being here prepared. Everyone has something to do. Everyone's very busy. Oh, just look at the attention to detail. Over there, can, I'm not sure if you can see. Look, look at that. Look at that. That looks more like a flower bouquet than actually something to eat. Oh, wow, just look at this room. That is posh, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I already got the first appetizer. Could you explain what this is? Uh, this is a sakizuke course. It's basically a uh, consomme panna cotta with fiddlehead fern, uh, carrot, and sea urchin, uh, garnished with kinome. Right, and you said, uh, how many courses are actually coming? Six courses, the hasu. You can see like, the menu is like hand-drawn as well, isn't it, with all the details on it? Yes, the uh, menu is hand-drawn by uh, our chef, Hiroto Okama. Itadakimasu! Oh, so pretty. Look, there's a little cherry blossom leaf style on this. I'll try if we can maybe eat that together. Ooh, it is soft like a panna cotta. I wish I could hold this up a little pretty one. Let's try. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's just what you want for a starter. It just richly, it works up your appetite. It's not too strong in taste, but you get a nice, nice aroma right at the start. I'm not sure if this is sashimi or ikebana. <laughs> so what, what is all of this on here? Um, so first we have the sashimi, um, you have yellowtail, maguro, uh, thai, which Kata is famous for, and tachiwo, which is uh, beltfish. What is that little, that little thingy here, the wooden thing with the green stuff? So that's a shark skin paddle, um, and then this is fresh wasabi. Um, you use it to grate wasabi, uh, which you can, if, if you prefer to have wasabi with your sashimi, you can enjoy it. That's real wasabi. That's like super rare. You don't see real wasabi. Yeah, it, it is a little rare. Uh, even in Japan, a lot of people use uh, kind of like Sub a, substitute a, stuff. A, a synthetic wasabi. Um, but here we use all fresh wasabi. 
and it's 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 a little bit sweeter. Yes, uh, so our fish are directly from here. Uh, the the fish market is literally maybe 150 feet walking. Uh, we I could actually see the fish market from the hot spring upstairs. Yes, you you can you can you can see all the boats, the fishing boats. Uh, it's, they usually uh, start about 4:30 in the morning. So when I was living here, they'd wake you up. You can hear all the boats running. Um, but yeah, all the fish come in fresh. Um, the sashimi is always fresh here. Do I do the wasabi then? It's the first time yeah. there's a fresh, fresh wasabi. Man, yeah, please, please. So you simply take the wasabi uh, with the grater. Uh, like in circular motion? Yes. And the skin scares on? Yes. It's called uh, Oroshi. Is it shark skin? Is it real shark skin? Yes. What? Oh, so is what shark skin on top of wood? Yes. You can you can see right there. Oh. Right, okay. Try. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, just wasabi just like that? Yeah, just... Ooh. <laughs> it's fresh, super fresh wasabi. That's actually <laughs> quite a lot if you know the taste of wasabi. Be brave. <laughs> okay. It's a little sweet. Ooh. 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 It is sweet, but it has like a kick that comes in afterwards. But it doesn't hit your nose as much as it as the yeah, synthetic stuff the does. Sinuses as much as you know synthetic wasabi. Yeah, synthetic wasabi kind of burns for your nose, but this one actually has like a nice burn on your tongue as well. Yeah. This is nice. This I prefer this. <laughs> okay, so first of all, pick up some of the fresh wasabi. Grab yourself your fish. So this one here is the Thai sea bream, right? Yes. And then this one here. Uh, that's the salt, uh, sashimi show you. Oh, oh, salt. 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 Okay, there we Just a little bit of salt. Just fold it all up. Ooh, I'm getting kind of nervous. Wow, just look at this. This looks so good. Mm. Wow. This is so soft and it has a really good bite to it at the same time. Mm. And the salt fits perfectly. Get Yellow it. tail, how much? Okay. What do you recommend for this one? Cookie wasabi. This one here? Is that cookie wasabi? Yeah. Oh. Cookie wasabi. I've never tried cookie wasabi, but this one is cookie wasabi. And it goes best with this one, yellow tail. Hmm? This is so good. Like eating eating sashimi has never been so much fun because there's so many flavors to enjoy. This work together perfectly. Now I've never seen a thing like that. I don't even know how to describe it. It looks like I don't even know, like a vase? Maybe it's, it's what is like, it? Uh, have you have you ever seen layered bento? So it's almost like surprise, surprise, surprise. So there are different things on each layer? Yes. Three, two, one. Da -da. Oh, this looks like fish eggs. Uh, actually, it's daikon oroshi with uh, togarashi and negi. So that's layer number one. And then layer number two. Da -da. Wow, what is that? So this is the wangauri dish. It's a uh, Thai with wakame from here in Kata, as well as shiitake, uh, dashi, and uh, kombu. And it's garnished with fresh chopped negi. Or green onion, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go, and let's dip it. Bloop, bloop. Dip, dip. <laughs> so this fish, this time it's not raw, this one is boiled? Uh, steamed. Steamed? Yes. Um, 
Furthermore, it also has shiitake, which also has amounts of uh, gyuanolate. It's the third amino acid. So if there was a vegetarian customer and you didn't want uh, an osinate from the fish, you could substitute with shiitake and still get that umami flavor. So even vegetarians can try the umami flavor. Yes. It's just, I have like the whole, like my whole palate is like filled with that umami taste. It's great. Now this one does not look like a meal, but like a Japanese garden. You have, a, you have trees going through it and bushes and flowers. And I don't even know where to start eating this. So what about can I find on my plate right now? So this course is called the Hasun, and it basically captures the image of the season. Um, so right now it's spring, so you can see the sakura. Uh, bamboo is now growing. Um, and a lot of the seasonal vegetables that are used in this dish uh, are all from spring season. Trick. Uh, what, where do I start eating? Same thing with the sushi. Is there like a trick to it? Yeah, um, so you want to start with the vegetables because they're less in the uh, umami flavor. And if you started with the meat, it would kind of like overpower the, uh, the vegetable dishes. So same thing with the fish itself. If you have sashimi, you start with the white fish first and then work your way towards the really rich in flavor fish, like usually the red fishes. Can I take this off, like with me? Mm. So, Firefly Squid. That has like the coolest name ever. Ooh, let's eat the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Mm. Mm. That's the thing, like nothing I've eaten so far of all the fish has like a fishy taste to it. All of it just tastes of the actual freshness. Freshness, yeah. <laughs> we don't know how to describe it. It's pretty good. Flip. Thank you. Mm. Uh, this is the on mono. Uh, it's a steamed course. Inside is uh, kare, which is how to describe basically like baby fluke or flounder, if you're familiar with those fish. Um, nasu, which is eggplant, as well as fu, which is like a gluten cake, and uh, like a Japanese broccoli rabe. That's the kare. That's the kare, the fish. You can see the flowers on top, it's wonderful. It's still steaming hot. Can you see that? Now the final course we will enjoy ochazuke style. So first of all, I'm gonna pick up one. This fish is that also red, red sea, sea bream? bream? Yes. 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 Uh, sesame sauce. Sesame sauce. Just look at that. Wow. It's quite a large bite. Well, I'm gonna try. Delicious sauce, right? <laughs> the sauce is delicious. Oh, I'll just have a look. Mm. So there's hot asani soup here as well. Wow, it smells so good. And you can see that the color of the fish slightly changes from the heat. I guess I'm gonna take my spoon. For Ochazuke, you're allowed to take a spoon. Wow, it tastes again completely different. I'm like, Ooh, food heaven. <laughs> again, it tastes really different again if you add it actually as a part of the soup. But it goes so well with the rice, it's so fragrant. Really strong flavor. 
And finally, we arrived at the dessert course. Now, what is actually that jelly-like thing on top? Uh, so that's a jelly with kanten and uh, sake pudding. And the fruits are kiwi, mikan, and strawberry. Ichigo. <laughs> There's a bit of onion in it as well, I heard earlier. Yes, yes it does. Good. You said something about fruits, wakayama fruits. Uh, yes, uh, Wakayama is the fruit kingdom of Japan, so we're really, really big on fruits here. Uh, very, very famous for mikan. There's a lot of uh, mikan no miyage in the front, um, as well as persimmon, and uh, also some melons. <laughs> melons are very, very popular here in Japan. Fruit kingdom! Let's taste some of the fruits of the fruit kingdom of Japan. A little bit of everything. Mm. Oh, that's fruity and zesty and really cleanses the palate. Right after a lovely meal, you want to have that to just finish up and give you that little bit for your second stomach. Your bets about it. Hmm. We heard, of, we heard a lot about him from you. <laughs> now, actually, I want to ask you, what's the concept of this concept? What's the concept of this food? The concept of this food is to be nice to the body, to the body, to the body. The body is made of food, so when you eat it, 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 when you あの、やはりあの、さっきも言いましたけど、結構言われます。海外のあの、シェフ一つをリクルートしてるんですけど、その繋がりはどうできてたんですか彼と最初の繋がりはインスタグラムからです。インスタグラムであのオファーがあって。ここでま、僕のところで働きたいということで。じゃ